Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Horizon View Advanced Training and this is fifth video in this series. So in this video I'm going to show you how to add vCenter server to Horizon View step by step. So in last video we have created uh, we have installed security server and we have added that server in our um, uh, uh, connection view server. So let's see what is the lab setup for this environment so we have first server we are using basically six for uh, physical machines which is acting as a physical host in uh, this lab infrastructure so the first machine is active directory server and dns server which is win 2 k 12 dc01 you can see from here this is my active directory and dns server local server win 2 k 12 dc01 and uh, this is running at directory and DNS server and then second server we have a horizon connection server which we have installed so you can see this is our connection server where we have installed so you can see win 2 k 12 cs01 and on the desktop we have uh, uh, horizon 7 administrator console uh, we have installed this in our third video so this is admin console for VMware Horizon View so I'm going to log in my credential view admin and the password for this account so this is our uh, Horizon View server connection server and then we have a next we have a security server which is win 2 k 12 ss01 you can see from here we have installed in last video uh, win 2 k 12 SS01 you can verify from here services uh, VMware uh, services are running on this machine for security gateway component and these uh, PC over IP uh, secure gateway so this is our connection server which we have installed and added to our uh, uh, horizon view administration console in last video so this is security server uh, and if I go to here on view and servers you can see we have a security server which, which we have installed in last and this is our connection server where we have logged in currently and we don't have any vCenter added yet so this is our task to add a vCenter infrastructure in this video so you can see we have one vCenter which is vCenter01 I have installed uh, already installed vCenter on this machine so you can see vSphere client is in web client is installed and we can log into this and we'll verify what we have so this is going to be our vCenter server which having 12 gig of RAM going to load soon so here you, you can see we have one uh, we under the vCenter we have one data uh, data center and then we have two ESXi hosts which we have ESXi 01 and 02 both are VMware ESXi 6.5 from here you can see both are running so this is our ESXi 01 and static IP address is configured and same we have a second ESXi which is ESXi01 and both our ESXi host having 32 gig of RAM and both are added here on our vCenter infrastructure so our vCenter infrastructure having uh, two ESXi hosts and few virtual machines also which is Windows 7 and Windows 10 gold machines so this is our uh, vCenter infrastructure so before adding we need to make sure which account if I go here and click on add server vCenter server it's going to ask you the uh, user uh, IP address or host name and then it's going to ask you the username and password so this username and password you must need to make sure this is uh, the user account which we are going to use having administrator administrator access on our vCenter infra vCenter server so if you don't have you can go here on vCenter server and under the permissions you can verify which server uh, accounts having permission 
and if you want to add your service account you can directly go here and you can add your so uh, what I'm going to add here I'm going to add my view view admin here which is I'm currently logged in this is domain account so I'm going to add this view admin and this uh, vCenter as administrator so I'm going to browse vector info so and I'm going to type view admin and I got my account here so I'm going to click on add so vectorinfosol.com slash view admin and I'm going to add this then what type of role you want to provide if you have multiple roles so for now I'm going to give the admin role uh, but further like if you want to uh, make uh, security reasons you want to give some restrictions you can create new uh, assignment role and then you can specify the role which you want to give access so I'm good with this so I'm going to click on ok and you can see our view admin account got the access on this object and its child and so it's going to get the uh, permission in vCenter and then ESXi host and ev everything which is going to come in this vCenter so this is good and now we can go to our connection server and click add then we can type the host name so our host name is vcenter01 and if you want to check this you can go here and ping this machine it must be resolving so it's resolving and then we have a username so we can put like vector info soul and then view admin then password for this account and I'm going to add here like India data center v center server then we are good we can click on next it's going to give you some certificate error so you can resolve this or you can click on view certificate and then you can go ahead and accept this certificate this certificate is coming for vcenter server so I'm good with this so accept and then you have option to add a view composer server so I'm not going to add view composer server we will add a view composer server later on uh, and we will install on another uh, dedicated view composer server and then we'll add so I'm going to use here do not use view composer and click next and then we have a storage setting so you can see all the storage which is identified has been discovered so this is gold and click next and we are here and you can see the information we sent a server name username password and everything is there so you need to make sure whenever if this user account is going to reset uh, basically password is going to reset you need to come here again and authenticate this uh, either uh, you are going to lose the uh, access to vCenter infrastructure from horizon view so that's why we uh, generally use service account to give uh, such access and you can see everything is looking good and you can see on which port it's coming so it's HTTPS yes, so 443 so this is good you can click on finish and it's going to take some seconds and you can see here vcenter server 01 and you need uh, you can see also the username by which this vcenter infrastructure is connected so you need to make sure you don't reset the password for this view admin account or if you reset the password you need to come here again and you need to click here in edit and then you need to verify the information either you can like configure this and re-enter the password again from here you need to put the password and authenticate again so now if I go to dashboard you can see here we sent a server which is giving this uh, because it's not like uh, having the proper 
certificate that's why it's giving error and you can see the data store and ESXi host is green so this is good good so we got access to our vCenter server and all the resources which is added there in our uh, vCenter server like ESXi host and data store so this is good so this is all about how we can add our vCenter infrastructure to Horizon View so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye